You're still watching ways now. Today is workaholic day. Hmm. If there's a workaholic in your life, ask them to take this day off and take them out to do something fun. But well, you know this is COVID nineteen, so perhaps a Zoom party amidst the pandemic will just do. All right, so make a nice meal for the workaholic in your life and tell them about the problems associated with working all the time. Now, if you are a workaholic, take the day off to reevaluate your life and take some time off for yourself. It doesn't kill, Sandra, is it? <laughs> well, I was going to like call you out, but you were nice enough to bring me cake and some nice homemade meals to work today. So Aww. I'll let you go. Aww. So you definitely took care of the workaholic in your life. Not like I'm a workaholic, but I work hard. Yes. Yeah, is good. there a difference? So Timmy, are you a workaholic or you work hard? Which one? I try to work smart. Ah, see <laughs> Lovely. You. Lovely. I'm sure if, Lovely. You, if you ask my daughter, she'll tell you I'm a worker only because she's always like, why are you always working, working, working? But in my mind, I think I'm striking the balance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Timmy, what did you find for us in the news? Okay. So today, I just wanted to bring to the fore um, the latest COVID-19 numbers. So I don't know, you know, how many of our viewers are like me, but what I did was that after a while, I stopped getting daily updates, right? So March, April, you know, I was constantly getting updates, like I'd literally go and check, okay, so what are the numbers today? Um, what's the recovery rate? Um, you know, are we flattening the curve and all of that? But I found that that came with a lot of anxiety, I was starting to have, you know, apprehension and I was always paranoid and all of that. So I was like, you know what, to protect my mental health, mm -hmm. I'm going to stop checking. And so I stopped checking at about 7,000 cases, right? Yeah. Then I went to bed and woke up one day and we're at 19,000. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? When did this happen? Right? So as of today, COVID-19 cases in Nigeria you know, the numbers have touched over 28,000. Wow. Everybody needs to be careful, right? So so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, nothing they have in disposition and people are like, well, if I have my hand sanitizer, I can go party. No, you cannot. We are not out of the woods yet. Mm -hmm. We need to be careful and responsible. Lagos is still the epicenter in Nigeria. And even yesterday, right, I saw it in the news that the World Health um, Organization came out to say, look, in the 24-hour period, they saw over 212,000 cases, and that's significant. So right now, we all just need to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Protect yourself, protect your neighbor, and hopefully, humanity will come out of this sometime soon. Absolutely. Right, absolutely. All right, so Sanzi, uh, so, well, the, the truth is, Tammy, even I took it yesterday, I was saying it yesterday about um, mm -hmm. the U.S., it was really scary. I had to call a few friends of mine that live in the U.S. I hope you guys are keeping yes. safe. Yes. Because the numbers now, they are counting. Now they are counting about 50,000 numbers on a daily basis. Test, mm -hmm. um, test people, 50,000 people testing positive to COVID-19. And, you know, because of Donald Trump's um, um, campaign um, rallies that he, he resumed. So it's crazy. You know, they ha they've gone back yeah. to shutting down their beaches and, and the all of that. We shouldn't that take it for had, granted. I'm sure that was indeed somewhat the Black Lives Matter yeah. protest, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Sansi, what did you find for us? In all right, so what I thought, oh, but before I start, I, I just have to say that that colorful map of Nigeria, I think is so beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So moving <laughs> on. <laughs> Uh, the story I have is um, all the way to Hollywood. As a movie person, I have huge interest in film and entertainment. So Paris Jackson, that's uh, Michael Jackson's daughter, she said in this movie that um, where she acted as a lesbian Jesus, where she portrayed Jesus as, 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 as a lesbian, mm -hmm. as, as gay, right? So um, now there is a petition worldwide, 300,000 people have signed it saying that it is just wrong. And the reason why I had to pick this story. I mean, they were calling out the producers or distributors, I think Warner Bros. and Lionsgate, um, that they should take down the movie, that that movie doesn't deserve to be shown or aired anywhere. And this is why I picked up the this, this, this story. Of all the stories in the world, you really had to go for that. Like, I have searched and searched, maybe not searched enough, I don't think I have seen a movie that, you know, tries to bla uh, 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 blaspheme um, um, the Muslim belief. You can't or, even try it. You can't do it. So <laughs> why do we, why, I understand that as Christians, we have this... Um, we're a bit liberal. We, we're yeah. liberal, but what, of all, if you don't know what to do against 
tell us your family history. Mm -hmm. Like each and every one of us, we have a story. Find one that is captivating enough. Just leave Jesus, leave I Christianity agree. alone. That's just wrong. It's, it's 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 just it's so blasphemous. Why? Hmm. I mean, it's bad enough that we are done dealing with Da Vinci. Remember the yeah, painting the where Vinci... John and Jesus, and they were like, the Almost, M represents yeah. married and yes. all the hogwash. Like, yes. come on. Hmm. All the, yeah. You know, it's, it's it just quite, doesn't um, settle well with me. I think, I think they, sometimes people don't know where to draw the, the, the line. Honestly speaking, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to gain clout or what, what exactly is your point? Yeah. There are some things that are sacrosanct, I think. Exactly, just let go, it yeah. be. She didn't go close to them. Come to Africa. Make a movie about Africa or somewhere <laughs> yeah, in the many Philippines about or, it. or South Korea. There is so much going on in the world you can invest money in. Not mm -hmm. Just leave the Bible alone. You heard it. She said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my story is quite interesting because, you know, yesterday I took um, the story about the flooding. Mm -hmm. in uh, Abiyokuta, and I also mentioned what happened in Lagos, Victoria Island, and all of that. Today, on my way to work, I've seen that they had also, I mean, they um, brought out all the debris again from the, from mm -hmm. the drainages. But um, I saw Lagos State Government um, tweeted about the flood intervention abatement gang of the Office of Drainage Services working and clearing outflow from um, Signal Barracks Collector, Mile 2, and Festac Channel that has resulted in flooding of mile two bus stop on the Lagos Badakri Expressway. So they are currently, you know, clearing out and cleaning out the drainages. Now, the reason I am picking the story in particular is because um, two or three days ago, a friend of mine sent me pictures of her car that was heavily vandalized in um, that Festac area. Mm -hmm. So because of the traffic that these blocked drainages have caused, a lot of like you were robbed i mean some two cars beside you were robbed yesterday so right. the one in first area like, is ma it's crazy they come they smash your windows My and goodness. they take you know on top of that she had to fix her car because her car was completely damaged because of the water so i'm happy that the lagos state government they are working and i as mm -hmm. i said yesterday we're not focusing on what did they should have done before the flood the flood has already come what are we doing to just help Mm -hmm. to make it the easy. way because forward the truth is that living in lagos is quite tough honestly my husband left home at 6 a.m yesterday he barely did two hours in the farmland he came back he was in traffic before you left he was in traffic he got back home at about maybe close to 1 a.m yesterday what? like for for no reason it the the stress that um yeah stress. the stress the stress that happens on our roads is enough to break down your immune system and we want to try to fight COVID-19. <laughs> totally. I tell you, so please, I'm happy that the Lagos State government is doing something about it. And I'm hoping that they do more. Because that particular road, a lot of people have been robbed. Mm -hmm. A friend of hers, was um, they used knife. After breaking, they, they stabbed him, collected about oh, 500000 from him. So people oh are being robbed on a daily basis because of that bad spot. Hmm. You know, so let us, let us keep working. So please, Lagos State government, continue to do your job. All right, so Modupe will join us right after the break to discuss work-life balance. Stay with us.